So what we're going to do today is test out a new language model that's available in SEO writing. And I really like seowriting.ai. I've been using it for quite some time. I still think it's one of the best AI writers out there. So I wanted to share this new feature with you. So we're in the SEO writing interface right now. And everything starts with a one-click blog post. So I'm going to go there and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. If we look in the AI models right here, you'll notice that there's two new ones. There's DeepSeek R1 and Real-Time SERP. And then there's DeepSeek V3 with Real-Time SERP. Now notice this one says Auto SEO. So the DeepSeek version 3 with the Real-Time SERP uses Auto SEO. So this is a little bit different than the way that I've talked about creating posts in the past where I have gone out to Neuron Writer and got a set of keywords and then loaded them into SEO writing before we build the document. So let's go ahead and find something to write about so we can try out this new language model. So here's Low Fruits. I use Low Fruits a lot for finding keywords. Uh, I still think it's one of the best tools out there for doing that. I'm going to log in and then I'm going to find a keyword for us to write about. So I'm going to go to my lists and I happen to have one that's about retirement related subjects. So I'm going to click on that. And the very first one that I see is downsizing to one car in retirement. So that's something that I've done in retirement and it looked like an interesting article to write. So let's write it and let's use this new DeepSeek language model. So I'm gonna copy that. And so I've copied that. And now the next thing that I wanna do is I want to jump over and create a content query in Neuron Writer. So if you're not familiar with Neuron Writer, it's an SEO optimization tool. And in this case, we're going to be using Neuron Writer just to get an idea of how well optimized DeepSeek creates articles when it's using real time SERP. And so everything in Neuron Writer starts with a new query. I'm going to go ahead, put that query in. We'll go ahead and start it. The one thing that I will mention is Neuron Writer is still available as a lifetime deal. Look in the description for the video. Low Fruits is sort of a pay-as-you-go keyword tool. That's what I like about it. Links to both of these items are available in the description along with a link to seowriting.ai. If you don't have an AI writer, the link that you're going to see is going to give you a code so you can get 25% off of SEO writing. All right, the content query is complete. So the next step is click on downsizing to one car in retirement. And then what Neuron Writer does, it's just going to return the search engine results pages. Now, the thing that I always want to stress is when you're picking these articles out to score against, you want to try to match search intent as closely as possible. And so you know, our article is downsizing to one car in retirement. That's what the blog post is going to be about. So I tend to go through these and then only pick out the search engine results uh, that align with the article that I'm writing. So let me do that real quickly. I typically don't choose Reddit. I don't like this one either. And I don't like this one. The rest of these look good. Here's another one that's dealing with retirement and downsizing to one car. Here's another one, same thing. So that gives us one, two, three, four, eight articles to use Neuron Writer and see what kind of SEO optimization score we get when we write in DeepSeek. The crucial thing here is you just want to try to pick articles when you're doing SEO optimization and looking at SEO optimization scores that most closely match the search intent of what it is you're writing about. So whatever that long tail keyword is, you only want to pick articles that match that closely from a standpoint of getting an SEO optimization score. So remove this editor menu, we'll add a title. You always want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and go with this title. Should I downsize to one car in retirement or should I keep a second car? 
And I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to need that in SEO writing. We'll save and close. And you'll notice just by adding this title and using some of the phrases that Neuron Writer suggests to use in a title, we're already at a 21 and we're shooting for a score of 67 or better. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump over to back to SEO writing and we're going to write this article. I'll put the title in. Now let's put in the main keyword. I better grab that just to make sure I have it exactly as it's supposed to be. Downsizing to one car in retirement. Copy it. Drop that in. So we're good. We've got the main keyword in. We've got a title. We're going to go with the English language. We're going to go with a friendly tone of voice. A point of view. We'll just do third person. Target country, United States for this article. According to the SERPs, the articles were around 2,000 words on average. So I'm going to go with a small article. That's 1,200 to 2,400 words. Now we're going to go ahead and pick our AI language model. So I want to use DeepSeek V3 with real-time SERP. This is the one that's been testing out the best for me for the best SEO optimization scores using its auto SEO capability. And I'll show you uh, how that works in a second after the article's written. We can go and look at some data that it used and you'll see why it works the way that it works. In this case, once you use this model, you cannot choose the text readability or do anything with AI content cleaning. There's going to be some pros and cons to using this language model. We'll talk about it when it's finished writing the article. As far as a brand voice goes, I'm not going to do anything there. I'm not going to add anything in details to include. I'll say, yep, let's include two images and we'll make them photo realistic. I'm going to say no to YouTube videos. So here's something that occurs when you use this language model, DeepSeek V3 plus real-time SERP. It's going to automatically determine the keywords that it wants to use in the article rather than you in the SEO section placing the keywords that you typically pull from Neuron Writer and copy in here. So that's a little bit different than the way I've shown how to write articles in the past. So from a structure standpoint, you know, if you want an introductory hook of some kind, maybe with a question, you know, craft an intriguing question that immediately draws readers' attention, you can do that uh, pretty easily. Let's go ahead and, and write something. So I just wrote, does having only one vehicle in retirement make sense? Let's look at the pros and cons. Just something to sort of draw the reader in and hopefully get them to read past the first couple of paragraphs. You want to do that because, first of all, you want to lower your bounce rate. You want to have longer time on page when people read your blog posts and articles. That's why I'm adding this question to try to draw people in. I'm going to go yes to conclusions, tables, H3s, lists, italics, quotes. I'm not going to have key takeaways. I'm going to just go ahead and say no to FAQs. I'll let it bold text where it needs to. So you can do some internal linking with this tool if you want to. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to let it uh, automatically pick external links, and I'm just going to use all the default settings. Connect to web. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and I'm going to leave everything else at default. For search source, I always pick real-time search. And... The other thing that I'm going to do is show you here that Outline Editor is no longer available when you use the DeepSeek V3 language model um, because we're going to let DeepSeek create the outline for us rather than let SEO writing do it. So again, uh, we have everything set up and we're using DeepSeek V3 with that new real-time SERP. And notice it only uses one credit, which is really nice. So if you like this language model based on the results that I show you, uh, you're going to use less credits if you use it. So let's see what kind of results we get from this. I'm going to click Run, and then we'll let it build the article. All right, so the article is complete. Let's take a look at it. 
click on it here. So notice that it's 1300 words. So as we scroll through the article, I'm just showing you the structure of the article. I'm not making any comments on what I think of how well the article is written with this particular language model. Anytime you use an AI writer, you wanna make sure that you do some fact checking. I'm gonna show you something in a second about where it's grabbing information. And there's some pros and cons to the way this language model works. And we'll see that here in just a second. But my point is, it's really imperative that you add your own expertise, that you add your own viewpoint. You need to do something to differentiate this article from every other article that's written about this topic, right? Or you're just regurgitating stuff that already exists on the web. Google probably doesn't like that, and it could eventually affect where your page ranks. I always like to emphasize the importance of not just creating an article with AI and just publishing it right away without doing some editing and fact checking, et cetera. So we'll just go through here, gives a table, talks about maintenance compared to one vehicle and two vehicles, has a quote here. It's nice, that pull quote, nice conclusion. It also has a link out to an article on Globe and Mail. Let's go ahead and copy it. That's copied. And the one thing I want to show you is something called the SEO report. This is new and, it, and it's available when you use this particular language model. So when you open up the SEO report, it tells you the article was written based on an analysis of the top 10 competitors in the SERP. So it's analyzing the top 10 competitors. In Neuron Writer, I'm really focused on search intent, and some of those articles in the top 10 did not match, in my opinion, the pure search intent of the article, but we'll see how it ranks here. It says, you know, the search intent is, it's an informational article, it's a blog post, it's general. It shows you that sources two, four, six, nine, and 11 were identified as the most relevant. So hopefully it's picking the same articles that I picked in Neuron Writer to score it against. And here is the keyword frequency for the various uh, words that would uh, be necessary to rank better in Google. And it also tried to maintain a keyword density of less than 2%. So now I want to go back to Neuron Writer and let's copy this article in and see what kind of score we get. So here you can see up in the top right hand corner, we're shooting for a 67. The highest of all the selected competitors in the SERP was a 67. In this case, we're scoring out at, at a 71. So it's very well optimized. If you look through the basic terms here, most of the basic terms were used. You could even uh, bump the score up by including some of these basic terms if you wanted to do that. Uh, and notice that not a lot of extended terms were used. So there's still plenty of room to more fully optimize this article if you felt that you needed to. My feeling is if we're already scoring higher than the highest of all selected competitors, I probably wouldn't try to over-optimize this article. Maybe in the future, if you start getting outranked, you may elect to go in and do some re-optimization then. For now, I probably would not. So that's pretty good, right? We were, we're at a 71, I like that optimization score. But the one thing that I do wanna check is I'd like to check and see from an AI detection standpoint where this article scores out. So we're in zero GPT. We'll go ahead, we'll put the article in, and let's go ahead and see what it detects. So again, when I started this video, I told you there's some pros and cons, right? So the pros of this DeepSeq V3 language with the built-in SEO SERP capability, it scores out quite well from a Neuron Writer optimization score. So I really like that. What I don't like so much is it's very evident that these AI detector tools are detecting this as almost primarily written with uh, an AI tool. 
Now, the question you have to ask yourself is if I have a 95.22 AI detection score, is Google going to rank me or are they going to maybe penalize me by de-indexing my site if I use too many articles with this language? And I can't tell you for sure because the Google algorithm is changing all the time. Now, if you go in and you add your own expertise and you go in through the article and make a variety of edits, I think what's going to happen is you're going to see this AI detection score maybe even dramatically drop. Now, let's go ahead and try this tool in SEO writing to see if that can help us out, which is the humanized text tool. So if we go back over to the dashboard, we go to the humanizer tool, I'm going to go with an 8th and ninth grade readability. Now, from a removal of AI words, I've always found removing the basic AI words works better than the extended one. So I'm going to go with the basic list of AI word removal. Let's go ahead, put the article in, and let's humanize this. Now, you can put in up to 3,000 words. In this case, it's 1,316, so we're good and let's humanize it. All right, it's completed the humanization process with the humanizer tool. So let's go ahead, let's copy this, and let's go back over to Neuron Writer. And I deleted the first article. I'm gonna put this humanized one in, and let's look at the optimization score that we get. Because humanizing the article has the potential for lowering the score. Now, it didn't in this case, and that's great. So we're still at a 71. So let's go over to zero GPT and try it out there. Let's go ahead and put in the humanized text that SEO writing produced, and we'll see what our detection score turns out to be. I dropped it from basically 95% down to 69%. Here's my suggestion when you're doing these tests and you're writing these articles. I would use the basic humanizer tool in SEO writing to take these DeepSeq V3 articles and to lessen the chance of AI detection. I think if you do that and you combine it with adding your own personal information, your own personal expertise, going through the document and making sure that you edit the sections where you wanna add bits and pieces of information, that's always a good thing because that makes the article feel more human written. It writes more in your voice. And I think that AI detection score would go down even more. Now, there's just a lot of arguments going on around how much AI should you use. I look at AI as being the foundational piece of your content. I think if you're using SEO writing and you use the one-click blog post along with the humanizer tool, I think that gets you in a really good baseline position if you choose to, uh, you know, use this new DeepSeek language model, which I really like the auto SEO because it gives you, you know, really an incredible neuron writer score. So that's always very, very helpful. Uh, you just need to realize there's, you know, some pros and cons, and you do need to make some decisions about how you choose to uh, do your editing and, you know, adding additional information and fact checking and all that. If you've never used SEO writing.ai and you're thinking about either getting an AI writing tool or switching to a new one, uh, hopefully this is giving you some good information. And like I said, in the video description, I've got links to SEO writing and you're going to get 25% off if you use my discount code. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section. I'm pretty good at answering everybody's comments or questions. I think it's great to generate some conversation about what do you think about this new language model? And maybe you have a language model that you prefer that not only tests out well for SEO optimization, but scores better in AI detection. So those are the kinds of things that I hope people share in the comments section. Until next time, take care.